Well, I was putting my video together for you guys on calibration of the laser line probe and noticed that I didn't have such a good audio signal. So I always say no audio, no video. So I just wanted to, to, to intro this again and let you guys know that what we're going to do with this video is show you guys how to calibrate the laser line probe or the LLP with the hard probe. And I've got Polyworks open today, so we're going to do it in there and I'll show you the steps to go through to, uh, to accomplish that. But what we were doing is we're measuring a prototype hood and a fascia uh, for a vehicle. And we had an arm uh, stationed on either side of the, of the vehicle or of the, of the prototype. And what we're doing is calibrating the laser line probe and the hard probe on both arms. And we were putting both arms into the same measurement session. So jump into Polyworks with me and we'll go through that step by step. So you can see here in my model, I don't have anything in the 3D scene. I've got an empty model tree here. Now I'm going to run down here. I'm going to make sure I've got a, a connection to the arm. So I'll punch on this button here so I've got connection to the ferro arm. And then I'm going to run up to this icon right here. This is the scanning uh, plugin. This is the application that we're going to punch on here to get to the scanner controls. Then this dialog box will come up right here. And I'm going to just open this up right here to expose this. Selection of probe, that is the first thing I want to do. So once I type on the select probe, it's going to take it a second to go find this screen here. And then the first thing I want to do is I want to calibrate the probe, not the laser probe. But I've got a 3 millimeter probe. And you can see that on here. I've got the 3 millimeter probe. Uh, mounted right to the bottom of the arm here. So that's what I want to calibrate for starters. So I will click on three millimeter ball probe here and then it brings up this screen. That should be familiar to you guys. Um, if you've had an arm for a little bit, you've seen this screen before. So what I'm going to do is this whole compensation right here. I'm going to click on him and then now it's talking to the arm and what it wants me to do is swipe through a certain path on this on this uh, leapfrog cone. I've actually got these placed out here and we're going to be using two arms, so I want to have both arms talking to each other here in a minute. But what I want to do is use that leapfrog cone to calibrate this three millimeter probe. So I am going to start by coming up here, and then I'm going to swipe through about 90 degrees, maybe a little bit more, and I'm going to let go. I'm going to come and do that same thing over here, come around, give me about 90 degrees, and let go the same one this way. There's about 90 degrees there. Now the last thing I'm going to do is this rotation and then let go. Then I've hit the back button and you can see the software is going to solve for the perfect center of that of that probe. Now what I've done is I've taken almost 500 points and I've passed the calibration here. So I'm going to say OK to that screen. Now the next thing I'm going to do is the current probe. I'm going to switch him over to the laser probe right here. Then this dialog box comes up here. Now what I'd like to start with though is this plane compensation. I want to make sure that I'm measuring a flat plane with that probe that I just calibrated. Now this usually comes up, this little dialog here. It says you're using fixed exposure mode. We always say yes to that. We want to change that. And then I'm going to say OK to this. And it's going to then allow me to measure this plane. Now I've got a plate, and this plate comes with the arm as well, or with your LLP. So I'm going to use that with the arm here. I'm just going to grab nine points. And I'm following just the perimeter of that, that white square. And then I go to the middle, boom, and I hit the ninth point, and then I compensate. And you can see on the screen, though, that it passes the accuracy test rate here. That's what I'm looking for, is that to be passed. And then I say OK. 
then this screen comes up here. This is how I'm going to use, or this screen is what I'm going to use to calibrate the LLP. You can see from the drawing, it's showing that there is a, a pattern, a swipe from left to right, it says here. And the way we're going to do that is just like this. I'm going to hold the scanner just like this, pointing toward that white, uh, that white plate. And you can see on the back of mine, I've got the, uh, um, this is a little harder to show, I've got the view, um, the view of the, uh, the range finder on the back of my scanner. I've got a V2 that I'm using here. The V3 will actually have those, those, um, those range finder lights up on the top here. So it's a little bit tougher to see. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold that arm until I can see both of those lights green. And then I'm on this angle to start. I'm going to hit the, the green button. And I'm going to follow this path. Just kind of a big arc. And then let go. And then you can see from the, the, uh, the dialog box there, now I've got a rotation that's going to be like this from front to back. Again, I've got two green lights on the back of my scanner. And I'm just going to swipe this way. done. And then my last one is I'm going to start low and pull up. I'm hitting the green button now and then I let go. And then I'm going to hit the red button. I'm going to hit the red button. Let me show you that. And then that will go and then the software will go out and it will solve for the compensation or the calibration here. So here it says I've passed. And the points is taken, it's been 412 points is what it's saying it's taking um, as it's taken those scans. So I say OK to that. And we are ready to start capturing a point cloud. So I'll say OK here for it to, to finish that up. And then we'll show you other videos coming up here um, as well on how to do some data capture. And that's all going to be underneath this starting of the scan. So. Um, very easy to do with that with that LLP. Try it a couple times just to make sure that you're getting the feel for it. But follow that pattern that Pharaoh has specified uh, for calibration of your own LLP.